Just a quick one before we get into today's video, guys. We have got a lot of Liverpool t-shirts available on our website, so do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description or go into copiclothing.com. Let's get into today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys. Before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Okay, so the Reds are not back in action again until Monday where they take on Leicester City in the Premier League. Look, there's three games left in the Premier League and there could be a bit of a twist and turn uh, before the end of the campaign as the Reds do eye a Champions League space. Liverpool players have been away in Barcelona Barcelona over the weekend uh, for a bit of downtime ahead of the clash. However, now have returned back to the AXA training center where they will prepare for that game next week. Uh, despite Liverpool not playing until next week, there is still moving parts going around in the background um, of which we're going to be discussing a few big talking points today. Um, as you can see there in the title, as I say, um, a bit of transfer news. And some news with regards to players uh, being out injured and all the rest of it. So the first thing we're going to discuss is summer signing or last summer signing, sorry, Calvin Ramsey. Look, Calvin Ramsey uh, was one of four players signed last summer, um, but hasn't really been able to hit the ground running at Liverpool this season. He almost become a forgotten man. Back in February, it was confirmed that he had a season ending knee injury and that he would he wouldn't be back uh, in, in the Liverpool team until next season. However, we do have a bit of an update for him, a bit of a positive one as a big step has taken place. And that is that he... Um, is, is back in light training again. As I said, he's had the surgery and all the rest of it and um, had a massive, massive injury, especially for a young player. But the positive news on that front is that he has returned back to light training and is ahead of schedule in terms of his um, rehabilitation and coming back. So as I say, he'll probably maybe play a part going into next season. Uh, more stuff on the transfer news, uh, transfer news, more stuff on the injury news as well is that despite... Obviously, Calvin, despite Calvin Ramsey being reported back in training, uh, Roberto Firmino is still out and he is still a doubt for Monday. So no uh, positive news on Bobby. Only three games left as well. He deserves a send off um, for his time at the football club. But yeah, nothing, uh, no update there on Roberto Firmino. Now, in terms of transfer news recently, especially over the last week, two weeks, we've hearing a lot of stuff coming out of the Liverpool camp. Uh, one of those players that has been talked of a lot is Manuel Ugart, who currently plays for Sporting Lisbon. He is one of three midfielders that Liverpool are apparently going to be signing this summer. And basically the update we have for him on that is that Liverpool are preparing to submit their first bid for the Sporting Lisbon midfielder, according to latest reports. It also has been revealed his um, his release clause has, has apparently been revealed as well, and that is said to be around fifty two point two million pounds. Uh, and Liverpool, as I say, are preparing their first bid, according to a lot of Portuguese journalists who are, as I said, very reputable. In that space, when it comes to South American players, first and foremost, and um, and, and 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 Portuguese teams, so yeah, they are fairly uh, reputable. Um, however, that one's probably going to take a bit of time to to really. Um, uh, grow traction, but that's what I said. The latest reports with regards to Manuel Ugart is that Liverpool are preparing a bid, and that his release clause is said to be around fifty-two point uh, fifty-two point two million pounds. Um, I do think this could be a good one. Um, as I said, I think from the Portuguese league, you do get a good um, bang for your buck. I think sometimes when going to smaller divisions like the Eredivisie and all the rest of it, um, you can kind of uh, get players that don't really transition into the Premier League. But I think recently where Liverpool have scouted or bought from the Portuguese Premier Division, they've always really translated really well, to be perfectly honest with you. They all look uh, fairly decent. And you can probably look at it for other teams as well in the Premier League that have bought from Portugal. You always get uh, a decent product. So yeah, I'm all for Manuel Ugart uh, to maybe sign for the football club. Now, 
On to the last story, and this one's actually coming from Sky Sports, by the way. Um, and basically, uh, an Italian journalist by the name of Gianluca Di Marazio, who works for Sky Italia, is reported that uh, Liverpool scouts have been out watching Inter Milan midfielder Barella, Nicola Barella, um, as he becomes a target for Liverpool this summer. Look, that... I mean, scouts going out to go watch teams play and scouts going out to watch different players is, is fairly normal. It doesn't mean that Liverpool are going to be making an offer for the player or are going to be signing. But I just thought it was interesting that Sky are reporting that Liverpool have got Barella on their radar as a potential summer target. I think Barella would be an unbelievable signing. Um, but yeah, encouraging news that Liverpool are looking towards the Serie A as well as... Uh, Barella, I think, is a top, what could be a top signing for the football club. However, as I say, enough, that's, that's it. Liverpool have only went out to go and watch him. So, yeah, it's an interesting state of affairs as we're already in May and there's just starting to be names and murmurs of players that Liverpool could sign. Um, that's all we've really got for you on that front. I have got a bit of an update with regards to Mason Mount as well. Mason Mount um, has sort of been mentioned in the same breath as Liverpool as a potential target this summer as his contract situation rumbles on. Um, he's obviously wanting to probably stay at Chelsea um, and the club want to keep him and, and give him a new contract. Obviously, he just wants to see what the sporting project's going to be. As I said, he's been a player that's been linked to Liverpool fairly heavily over the last couple of weeks. And basically the update on him is that Mauricio Pochettino, who is expected to take over as the Chelsea boss, has basically came out and said that. Well, he hasn't came out, but reports from journalists have came out saying that he would be a big part of his plans. Honestly, sometimes I don't know where these journalists get this news from. He isn't even the manager, but... Um, as I say, fairly decent sources are stating that he would be a part of Mauricio Pochettino's plans going forward. So take of that what you will. Um, again, I don't know how they sort of find that, sort of find that out. But yeah, it remains to be seen. Uh, but Liverpool fans, as I said, we've discussed uh, a bit of injury news this morning. Calvin Ramsey back in light training. Um, Nico Barella has been watched and Manuel Ugart's release clause has been revealed and Liverpool are preparing their first bid for the player. So that's all I've got for you on this Thursday morning. As always, guys, please do smash that like button. Let me know your thoughts on all of the subjects down there in the comment section below. And do subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Uh, that brings us to the end of today's video. Please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. And I will see you all next time. We do have Liverpool t-shirts available on our website, so do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description or go to copbyclothing.com. Thank you, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.